Hello, my darlings, and welcome to another video, another Arabian fragrance video. And this is gonna be a full review of the newest Paris Corner collection called Ophidian. And uh, the collection consists of three different fragrances. We have Ophidian Black Cherry in this packaging. They all look super extra luxe, by the way. Uh, then we have Ophidian Sweet Surrender in gold packaging. And last but not least, we've got Mango Bliss. So all three are definitely making a statement on a shelf. As I said, these are the new uh, fresh re release, release, fresh re <laughs> freshly released fragrances by Paris Corner. Uh, as much as I purchase 99% of, of my Paris Corner fragrances myself, these actually were kindly sent to me by Royals Perfume. They carry the collection at the moment on their website. So check it out um, if you are going to be interested in purchasing any of these or maybe all free. I don't know. So let's start with black cherry shall we so as i said the packaging inside and out looks extremely luxurious and the bottle is stunning that i have to say the bottles are really pretty you guys know i love snakes so it's up my alley the cap is not plastic, it's actually metal, which is great. And this is the bottle up close. I don't want to blind you because this glass is kind of a mirror glass. So, shall we? The cherry one, black cherry, has, of course, cherry, raspberry, bergamot and woody notes at the top. Then you have praline, heliotrope, rose and oud. And in the base, you've got tonka, patchouli, vetiver and incense. So this is a very, very dark cherry. But it's also very juicy and very sweet at the same time. You definitely get some oud and other woods. You definitely get some smokiness. But it's all cut by the sweetness of the cherry. It's like a candy sweet cherry. You still get a whiff of realistic, a little bit sour of the cherry, but at the same time you get like a candy glazed cherry. So it's really, really nice. Another cherry on my channel, I know. And we're gonna have another mango. Don't don't kill me, guys. Don't kill me. But this is so beautiful. I love this one. Uh, I'm starting with the bang because this is probably my favorite out of the three. This for me is 10 out of 10 cherry. It's probably not going to be for everybody because it's a darker leaning perfume. But it's so delicious. It's almost mouth watering. I almost feel like you have like a strawberry whipped cream with those cherries. That raspberry here is also very, very sweet and like candy-like. And then you get that incense and a little bit of oud and a little bit of powderiness from the heliotrope, like an almondy powderiness. And of course the praline, which gives it even more sweetness, even more oomph. This one... I love this one. I really, really love. Uh, I'm pretty sure people are going to compare it again to things like Lost Cherry or Cherry Smoke. But let me stop you right here. They have completely different notes and they perform completely differently. If I could compare it to anything, which is still not accurate, I would most likely compare it to Vice Bomb from Simone Andreoli, which is like a cherry uh, sweet ice cream fragrance with some depth as well. But this one is, is 
another beast. It's so different to pretty much every cherry that I smelled and own. And you guys know I'm a cherry collector, not to say a holder. This one is beautiful. This one is truly amazing. It has a little bit of freshness in the, in the beginning, but not too much. It's more of a very sweet, smoky fragrance that leans gourmand, uh, but stays quite woody and dark. So I love it. The longevity is 10 hours, like straight up 10 hours on my skin because I wore it all over my arms a um, couple of days ago and it stayed put, put the whole day. So Ophidian Black Cherry to me, honestly, is my favorite from the whole line. Um, oh, something fell. Is my favorite from the whole line. I um, I love this. This one I really, really love. So that's the first one, which is an absolute 10 out of 10 for me. The next one that we've got is Sweet Surrender. And this one is definitely the most gourmand fragrance out of the whole line. Not to say uh, black cherry isn't gourmand leaning because it definitely is. But like this is gourmand gourmand. So Sweet Surrender has sugar, red berries and mandarin orange, vanilla, cacao, spicy notes and rose. And in the base, you've got tonka bean, amber musk and woody notes. So from the notes, you can already tell. Look at the bottle though. It's all gold, like it's lit. From the notes, you can already tell that this definitely was inspired by Billie Eilish. The first one, the gold one, the actual gold one. And I must say, they smell quite similar. This, this is super similar to Billie Eilish. Super similar. Um, I have the same problem with it as I do with La Tafanebras and the actual Billie Eilish herself. Um, for some reason, I think it's because of the combination of mandarin orange maybe with the spices. Um, after a while, it kind of has like a camphor of a smell a little bit a little bit of a camphor smell but you cannot really smell it in the air it's only when you like put your nose very close to the fragrance on your skin nevertheless it's a great alternative to Billie Eilish perfect alternative um I think I probably like it more than Lata Fenebras. For me, this one is definitely more, um, it feels more quality of the oils. You know, I feel that this is more of a quality ingredient in here. Um, so that's why I would probably suggest smelling this before you buy uh, La Tafa or Billie Eilish because it is a great alternative for a great price. However, I would say if you love cherries, black cherry is like stamp of approval from me, a good blind buy. Like, I know it's not for everybody, but I feel like most of you will love it. Love it. This one, because of that slight camphor of a smell that it has in the mid i would suggest smelling it first all right i would suggest smelling it first but smell all of them all the flankers are not flankers all the dupes of billy eilish and be eilish itself because for some reason it can be a little bit challenging but it's still a very well done fragrance. Again, another beast mode, also 10 hours plus, uh, with strong projection, same as Black Cherry. So yeah, these fragrances are definitely not playing when it comes to presentation, the packaging, and the strength. 
you get everything you might wish for in these fragrances in this line so that is sweet surrender uh, but I must uh, admit that way safer of a blind buy and Royals Perfume also have it on their website uh, is another Paris Corner fragrance that I recently re not received I bought it myself uh, it's Kissa Delicious and I bought it around the same time that I received the Ophidians and this one is in the same genre but it's like more marshmallowy coconut. It doesn't have that red currant. It doesn't have any spices. It's very smooth. It's like a cacao a drink, a milky cacao drink, hot chocolate with a lot of milk and marshmallows and coconut sprinkles on top. This is how it smells. So I would say if you need a very good blind buy, I would check Kisa Delicious out. Whereas with Sweet Surrender, I would say... Uh, if you are sure that you love DNA of Billie Eilish, then get it instead because it's better price point, better performance for sure. Uh, but if you are not too certain about how it performs on you, either the original or this, um, I would sniff it first. I would order a sample first and then get the full bottle, but it's still a very well made scent. Very well made. Now, last but definitely not least, we have another mango in my collection. I know I'm wild when it comes to mangoes. I'm sure you are all tired of me talking about mango scents because I also know it is quite insane. But I have to tell you about Ophidian Mango Bliss. This also comes in the same packaging but this one is like yellow ombre to gold very nice i must say and this one is mango lemon ginger and red berries then you have woody notes coumarin and jasmine and then you have musk amber wood and cypria oil and this fragrance is 100% a unisex scent. Uh, to all of you who think it might be similar to Stefan Umbeluka, any, either uh, God of Fire or Soleil de Jeda, it's not. It's not. It's a completely different mango. I don't think there is anything in particular like this on the market. This is different. This definitely is different. This is unisex leaning almost masculine. I would still I would still categorize it as unisex, uh, but to some it might lean a little bit masculine because of Cypriol, because of amber wood. And also it has a lot of lemon and ginger. And that opening is absolutely mesmerizing. It smells like sugary pumped up with sugar lemonade with mangoes swimming in it it smells like lemonade with mangoes that are just put into the jar mm. very very beautiful but then it gets quite woody and strong and leaning more towards unisex and masculine territory. I don't know how you will perceive this fragrance to your nose, but for me, it's definitely a perfect, perfect, sexy guy fragrance. If your man, husband, lover loves mango, uh, but any other fragrance that has mango on the market is just too feminine for him, um, then this is perfect. It's also quite perfect for hotter weather because of that strong lemonade ginger top. That's very refreshing. It is definitely something else. It is truly something else. I cannot compare it to any mango that I've ever smelled. And you guys know I smelled a lot of mangoes. 
um, but this one is definitely different. Uh, it definitely also gets better with time. Uh, this is my, I think, second week having this and I love it way more than I loved it in the very beginning. Uh, same with Black Cherry got better after a week, so much better. Uh, and same with Sweet Surrender. They just have to sit a little bit, give those fragrances a week or two, then they really blossom. Uh, at first, it was even more masculine than it is now. Because now when I'm smelling it, I really don't get that much of masculine facet, masculine woody cypriol facet um, that I used to get a week before. It's definitely more like candy lemonade, uh, with a little bit of mango and a lot of ginger. Yeah, you you have to try it. You have to try it because this is a mango that's definitely gonna, uh, you know, bring you compliments. And people are definitely gonna ask what you're wearing because it's so unique. It's so unique. It's lemony, it's refreshing, but sweet at the same time, kind of like a lemon heart candies. Um, but then it gets very like dark and sexy because of the cypriot oil and the woody notes and amber wood. So it's a very complex fragrance, uh, very strong. Uh, this one is the most summery one, but I still would say it's good all year round because of the depth in the base. So yeah, try it. Mango Bliss from Ophidian is a great one is a great one. It's not as sweet as my other favorite mangoes, for sure not. So anything I've ever showed you when it comes to mango is going to be way more sweet than Mango Bliss from Paris Corona. But it's definitely not a bad fragrance. Not at all. Quite the opposite. To me, it's very unique. Very, very, very unique. Um, so yeah, it's unisex, I would say straight up unisex, citrusy, fruity, ginger infused fragrance with a very deep uh, woody amber wood base. So yeah, check it out. The whole collection is absolutely stunning. It's absolutely stunning. And what is the most important always for me you know, no matter how beautiful the scent it is, if it doesn't last, I'm not going to be happy. They are all beast modes. So, as I said before, cherry, the black cherry is my favorite. I rated 10 out of 10. Then, sweet surrender. I'm going to rate this 7.5 out of 10 because comparing to other two, it's way less unique. It's actually a huge inspiration from Billie Eilish and it has that camphor smell that I'm not digging. Uh, so I'm going to give it 7 to 7.5. Yeah, let's give it actually 7. Let's give it a 7. It's very strong and potent, so I'm definitely not going to rate it lower, but 7, I think, for the scent itself uh, and its uniqueness. Um, it needs some points down because, especially because of that camphor smell that I have in my nose. So that's that. And then uh, the Mango Bliss, I give it nine out of 10. Solid nine out of 10. If you are into sweet lemon scents, if you are into mango, if you are into refreshing yet very deep at the same time, which is not a very common combination, let's be honest, believe it or not, um, this is amazing. This is amazing. So another mango scent that I do have to recommend. I'm sorry. This is 9 out of 10. And that is the whole Ophidian collection. As I said, these fragrances were kindly sent to me by Royals Perfume Team. Of course, I'm going to link their shop below. Not many fragrance shops have this collection in their arsenal. Royals Perfumes is definitely one of the first. So if you want to get it with no fuss and no stress, that is going to be, you know, soon out of stock, go to Royals Perfumes because they always have 
uh, great prices and um, also they always have the newest things. So I'm very, very happy that I partner up with them to show you these free. So that is it for today, my darlings. Please let me know in the comments which one would you pick. I'm very, very curious if you would pick any of these. Uh, if you pick one, two, tell me. Please tell me if you maybe already have them. What are your thoughts? I would love to know. And with that, thank you for watching and see you in my next one, guys. Bye.